Hey everyone, so today we are going to be talking about my luxury perfume collection. So I really am a type of person who I don't buy a lot of perfumes because when I like one scent, I will just buy that same scent over and over and over again. So I'm not really a perfume hoarder. So this video is not going to be exceptionally long. However, I do have some really nice perfumes that I wanted to show you guys because a lot of you guys have asked me for this video. So let's get into it. So I'm going to start off with Tom Ford. Um, we are going to have like two or three categories of like designer perfume designers or whatever. Um, and Tom Ford is going to be the first one that I'm going to get into. So this right here is fucking fabulous by tom ford now this is a very large bottle this is actually a bottle that you fill up little travel size containers with this bottle or you can take and open it and kind of just dab it on your wrist with this part but it's not a bottle that you would like pick this up and spray on you. you you can't do that with this so this is 250 milliliters of perfume and this is very strong it is unisex and I just mainly got it because of the name because you know I just thought it was really nice however this is actually a really nice perfume and I really do like that it's unisex you know so you can give this to a man or a woman and either way they're gonna smell good the next Tom Ford perfume was my signature scent for probably six years um this Tom Ford black orchid I am obsessed with this perfume so much it has a very different scent to it so it has like a peppery undertone I don't know like it has a couple of like peppery notes I don't really know how to describe it but it's so nice I know it has like amber and uh, it's just very spicy like it's nice and like spicy and intense and I don't know kind of mysterious I don't know when you wear this you feel sexy so this was my signature scent for so long so for a while there I would just buy multiple bottles of this so when you see my perfume collection is not that large it's because i would just buy bottle after bottle after bottle of this specific perfume i wasn't really going out of my way to buy anything but this because this is all i cared about for many many years so yeah this is really nice and i still love it to this day it brings back such good memories the next Tom Ford perfume is this one. So this is Soleil Blanc and this is very summertime. This is very like I'm going to the beach. I want to smell like I'm going to the beach. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is very much so. For me, I consider this to be a vacation scent. Um, you wear this and it's very reminiscent of you know putting like suntan lotion on or sunscreen on and laying out all day that's basically what this reminds me of so i do really like this one but i don't use it that much unless i'm on vacation so this gets used when i'm going on vacation by the beach <laughs> okay so this is really nice like i said it's just it reminds me of being on vacation that's literally it but I love the bottle this is a hundred milliliters um it's just really good perfume I don't have anything else to say I do have the shimmering body oil version of this and then like the plain body oil version of this and I love the body oil in this scent it's so fabulous I love it and the last Tom Ford perfume I have is this this is bitter peach and this is just 50 milliliters this is really really gorgeous scent you know it straight up smells like peaches but not like you know not in the sense of like you smell like fruit you smell like 
peaches and possibly a little bit of vanilla. I know it's different as well. I do like to combine this one. So I do combine this with my Baccarat Rouge that I'll show you in a second. Or you can combine this with something a little bit more spicier like Black Orchid. So this is a really nice scent to either wear on its own or to combine with something a little bit um, more intense in smell. Does that make sense? So I, I got it because I was like, ooh, I like the bottle. And then I had like a couple people telling me that they love this scent and then I bought it and I was like, all right, it's all right. <laughs> but it has grown on me, so I like it a lot more now. But when I first got it, I was like, did I really spend $300 on this? But now I'm like, okay, this is worth it. So it definitely grows on you. So I'm just going to talk about some random perfumes that I have next beside me. This one right here is called B Balenciaga. This one, I've never smelled anything quite like this. Like this, I'll put the notes on the screen, like right here. I seriously have never smelled a perfume that smells quite like this. Like the bottle is super different. You know, I've had this for a really long time. This is something that I don't wear every day, but every now and then i'll pull it out and i'm like you know what it's not bad so definitely very very different smell um but not bad either so i don't know take it with a grain of salt whatever then this is my Jo malone perfume i got this perfume when i was in rome a few years ago and it's velvet rose and oud so this perfume does kind of remind me of when i went to rome and when I was like, you know, perfume shopping there. So it does have good memories uh, attached to it. This is very sexy. Like it reminds me of like, when you put this on, I feel like you, you smell like you wanna get a bunch of neck kisses. You know what I mean? Like you smell really fabulous with this perfume. So, mm, you just can't, you can't go wrong with Velvet Rose and Oud by Jo Malone such a nice perfume oh mm -mm -mm. i'm gonna wear this next time i have a date night for sure and then this perfume i mainly got this because growing up this is the perfume that i remember my mom got for some holiday and my dad just kept buying it for her and i loved the way it smelled so i would always steal this perfume from her um, nowadays, I don't wear this often at all. This is Miss Dior. You know, I kind of feel like I smell like an old woman when I wear this nowadays, but it's not terrible either. So I just keep it for kind of, you know, memory purposes, but I don't keep, I don't wear it. Does that make sense? So this has been my collection for way too long. <laughs> so now let's talk about Maison Francis Croc de Jean um, Perry. And this is my springtime perfume. So when spring comes around, this is what I'm going to be wearing. This is called L'Eau à la Rose. This smells like a bouquet of roses without smelling too rosy. I don't know how to really describe it. Like, it smells very fresh, but it smells like roses, but super fresh, like, almost like rose water, you know? That's kind of what this smells like. Um, very nice, subtle, but sexy. Also very, like, summery, springtime scent. So, I don't really wear this much in the like, fall and winter, but I do think this is a gorgeous scent. And, you know, I'm wearing a lot of pink today. I'm wearing like a pink striped shirt and like a hot pink lipstick. So for me, this is something that I would wear when I'm wanting to feel a little bit more girly. You know, when my outfit is very like girly or pink, then I'd be like, ooh, I should wear this. So I hope that makes sense. And then we're almost done here. I told you this is not going to be a very long video. The next two perfumes are Baccarat Rouge 540. So this is the body oil and this is actual perfume. This has been my signature perfume 
for the past like four or five months I wear this every time I go out I wear this when I go to work I wear this all day every day this has been my go-to I just feel so sexy when I wear this you know and then you know having it in combination with the body oil is just like truly like you're gonna smell so delicious you can't beat it so you know i used to be into more like masculine scents but nowadays this is my baby like this is my signature i love these two i love this perfume but like this is the body oil love just slathering my body in the body oil you just smell so good and you know you can't beat that it's just it's divine and last but not least, I wanted to talk to you guys about this. So this, you may be wondering, what is this? This is a perfume that I made when I went to South of France last year. I made this when I went to Grass. And for you guys who know about Grass, you guys, a lot of perfume houses like Louis Vuitton or Killian, they all have perfume factories or perfume um, maisons in grass france so grass is kind of like the perfume capital of the world so you can go to grass and you can make your own personal customized perfume and you can name it so this one is la vie est une partie so life is a party is what i named this and i really like it it smells very i put a lot of vanilla and a lot of amber and a little bit of patchouli in it i really really love this perfume mainly because i made it you know so while i don't use it as often as i could it's because i don't want to run out of it but i do absolutely adore this because it was made by moi and then this is the bottle i have the dark bottle just because i didn't want to have like a lighter bottle because the lighter the bottle is the quicker the perfume can like go bad so the darker the bottle is the longer the perfume will last so that's why it's in this dark bottle um so yeah i mean and then at the top it has my number so if i call or email them they could send me another bottle and like make it exactly how I made it because all my notes are in the system so that's really really nice I would recommend if you're ever able to go to grass go there take your girlfriend take your wife take your husband take whoever is really into perfumes in your life and have them make their own custom perfume in grass France it's it's such a nice process I loved it so with that being said that is the end of my perfume collection like i said i know it's not that long but i like all of these perfumes quite a lot some more than others i do have like one or two that i didn't even bother to show you because i just really don't use them you know perfumes like this from burberry i never use this because it activates my allergies and just like makes me sneeze but you know i still have it so for the most part that was all of my really nice luxury perfumes and i hope you guys liked seeing my collection if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you guys later bye